We are Jill and Pam Gilardi. We've been married for 10 years and we've been attending the Hunt Club campus. I'm a stay-at-home mom to three wonderful boys. I have Leander, who is eight, Zachary, who is six, and little Vincent, who is six months old. We heard about house churches and we were very apprehensive. The thought of going to someone else's home with two children, uh, anxiety was at a high. At the same time, you're being gently nudged by God saying, hey, you're uncomfortable. This is great for me, but just wait till what it's gonna do for you. I've got plans for you. I just kept feeling this desire to add to our family. I talked to people at house church and everybody was encouraging and supportive. And even if we did not have another child, I was content. I was at peace. And then a month later, we got our positive test. We had decided that we were going to tell somebody, and it wasn't really our parents or the people that you would normally think. We decided it was going to be our house church family. They surrounded us, and they prayed for us, and they, they were so supportive. They, they came to the baby shower, and you know, they checked in on us, and they, they prayed for us constantly. And when you're around these people, you can feel God's love through them. It was September the 8th, September 2022. The 8th. We had been laying in bed that night and he asked me, do you think this baby's gonna come early? We had about a month or so left, you know, two months left. Just a few hours later, I was having contractions. I honestly thought we were gonna go to the hospital and they would stop labor and everything would be fine. We called our house church mom, Miss Kathy. It was like four in the morning. We told her what was going on and she came over to sit with the boys. Right away. Right away, no questions. And so they gave me a shot and they gave me some pills to try and stop labor. And, and they said, we, we can't, this baby can't come this early. He's too early. There's more than likely gonna be major complications. So they gave her all of the medicines and everything. And I mean, he, he was coming. They said, at this point, all we can do is slow it and try and buy some time because they said at that point, his lungs were more than likely not developed enough to survive on the outside world. And if he did, it was not gonna be without serious, support. serious support in the, the NICU. Jeff May actually came to pray over me, which is our house church pastor. For him to do that, it meant so much. He made us, a, her, a priority. And House Church even sent flowers. And they don't know this, but after Vincent was born, and I couldn't hold on to him, I couldn't take pictures of my new baby, I took pictures of those flowers. It meant so much to me. I didn't know what he was gonna look like when he came out as far as... Could he breathe on could his Could he own? breathe? Was you he know, was he okay? gonna be blue or, you know, I mean, you're scared to death. And, um, and he came out. And let me tell you, that kid's got a set of pipes on him. He was screaming. And we were all so relieved. I mean, we just, oh, a weight just lifted. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be okay. And she lifted him up and he was the most beautiful thing that I had ever seen. And I got to hold him. I got yep. to hold him. He was and healthy for his age. We were just blown away and you could just tell it was 100% God orchestrated. Our house church was fundamental in making things go smoothly. God used every one of them. And the thing is though, they could have all said, no, you know, they planned for this baby. They're on their own. They could have just shrugged it off, you know? but they didn't. They listened to God and they brought food and they brought gift cards and clothes. I didn't have any preemie clothes. And one of our house church members showed up with just all of these clothes. Before we even had a full concern form in our head, were, God was using these people to meet care. those needs. Because these people are just ordinary people that just love God and they continuously love us and pour into us and we give it back.
because they are our family. We would be lost without them. I think because of Jesus, we have victory over any uncertainties and chaos that may arise in our lives. We may not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future.